Remember how I signed off the previous episode with see you next week with more God of War? Yeah, I had a bit more free time than expected, so have another episode. So here, let's go ring this big-ass bell and see what happens. I guess something's gonna show up. Ooh, a waterfall of blood. Now that is gruesome. Not to mention eerie. Okay, so what are we waiting for here? Uh-huh. Oh, it's a boat! That must be the fabled boat that crosses the River Styx. So I guess that's the River Styx there. Alright, we're going for a boat ride! Awesome! That's like one of the Greeks' favorite pastimes, and whoa! I am a slave to no one, Charon. We share a common fate, Kratos. The gods will release neither of us from our torture. Be gone. It is not yet your time, mortal. And guess what happens? Kratos deals with Charon just like he deals with everyone who doesn't agree with him or who doesn't stand aside whenever he orders something. He wants to kick his ass. Cue a fight. And Charon, the mythical ferryman of the dead, doomed to forever you know, carry souls across the river Styx in his boat. And... Yeah, according to Greek mythology, people who were dead had to bring a coin for him. So the bastard doesn't even do it for free. So, yeah, that's why in, like, movies about the Greeks and stuff, you always see them put coins on the eyes of their dead people. Those coins are meant for Charon. And I guess maybe he's pissed off because Kratos didn't bring him any money. But, yeah, he was freaking creepy. Although I do think he looks pretty awesome, this skeletal dude who hovers around and cuts stuff up with a huge-ass scythe. He's awesome. I hope once we kill him, we get his scythe. That would make a sweet-ass weapon. Alright, halfway there. Uh, what's he gonna do? Crap, 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 crap. Do I need to smash that stuff, or what? Green fire. Ah, uh, what is... Whoa. I'm dead? What? How the hell is that possible? Oh, cutscene. So, I guess you're supposed to die there. All right then. You chose your path. Host of Sparta. Oh shit. We really done it now. You see Kratos, that's why you only pick fights you know you can win. And now somehow we're chained up even deeper in the underworld somewhere. But no chains can hold Kratos because he's freaking Kratos. Houdini got nothing on him. I mean, the guy escaped from hell. Like, twice. I'd like to see Houdini try that. Ooh, Phoenix Feather. That one was just really poorly hidden. So, alright. There's people here on the walls you can kill to regain health. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you killing innocent people that are chained up here? Well, think of it this way. I'm ending their suffering by putting them out of their misery, I guess. Although, they're already in the underworld. Where do they go when I kill them? Is there like an even deeper layer of the underworld for them to go to? I don't know, I mean in Dante's Inferno they say there's like nine circles of hell or something, so I guess maybe they go down to a deeper circle, but I'm not really sure if that goes for Greek mythology as well. Probably not, because I think Dante's Inferno is like based on a Christian poem thing. Something from the Bible, at least. Alright, archers, you're annoying me. I'm going to kill you now. Damn, those guys are pretty bulky. I remember when most archers took like two or three hits to kill. These took like six. 
Or maybe I'm just not counting right. Wouldn't be the first time. Kill! Ah. Seriously, there's a trophy for getting a 1000 hit combo. How are you supposed to do that? I mean, I can barely get one over 50. It's like bloody impossible. Unless there's like some kind of glitch or something you're supposed to exploit for that. I mean, in Ghost of Sparta I found a really easy way to get the 1000 hit combo trophy. Using the combat arena, you can just manipulate it easily. Here, where the souls of the wicked are tortured in the pits of Tartarus, the wailing and the agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. Yeah, yeah, it's not exactly Disneyland, we know. It's hell. It's supposed to be bad. Ah, crap, now we get harpies. Splendid. I mean, who doesn't love these guys? They can just fly up out of your reach and dive bomb you, which you can pretty much never ever block. And because there's so many of them, dodging's kinda risky as well, because if you dodge one, you're bound to get hit by another. Seriously, I freaking hate these harpies. Eh, well, they really aren't that hard to kill. I mean, they can't take hits well at all, and I think that's all of them. Yes. Alright, moving on. So, you there, die. Just kill them to get some red orbs and some health. Or I think only health, actually. I think the red stuff is just blood, because you cut them. I don't even get red orbs for killing these guys, that sucks. And I can't grab them either. Alright, then we'll just lift up this heavy stone door and see what's behind it. Ooh, see a safe point up there, so I guess we need to go over there. Yeah, you really chose a bad place to spawn, Archer, just right where I can immediately kick the snot out of you. But the sword guys are trying their hardest to intercept me from doing that. Which is not really working out that good. Or well, or whatever. Do I look like I care? Oh, there's a little health chest up on that platform over there. Maybe you want to go and get that one once I'm done here. Okay, did I... Yeah, I think I got him. Any treasure chests? I don't think so. Oh, Archer. I leave no stone unturned when going to kill these enemies. There. Just rip his head off by... pretty much spinning him to the floor with one of my blades. And instead of pulling on his head, we just pull his body off. Damn, Kratos, that's brutal. Alright, thank goodness for the invisible walls on that chain there. Otherwise, that might be a bit of a problem if... I don't know, you have a seizure when holding the control stick or something. I mean, seriously, even if there were no invisible walls, you should not fall off of that, because if you do, you're a complete retard who's unable to handle a freaking controller. Or you're just a kid. I know it's kind of synonymous sometimes. And luckily, spamming fireballs works wonders on these harpies. And of course, there's always more. Ooh, Gorgon. Better kill that one because I think that's a pretty lethal combination. If the Gorgon freezes me and a freaking harpy dive bombs me, then I am screwed. So better kill the Gorgon quickly. Ah, uh, you're not going anywhere. Because I'm going to rip your head off. Ouch. Alright, only a few harpies to deal with, and then we should be done. Alright, what do we have here? Zeus, king of the gods, upon defeating the titans in the ancient war, Zeus banished into the underworld, they imprisoned in Tartarus. Oh sweet, the titans are here! Hades was given guardianship of the underworld. He rules over the dead alongside his wife Persephone. Nice. Oh, we can pull Hades' statue out. I like how Hades looks. He's just badass, like... Yeah, I got spikes all over me and a badass helmet, and my face is made of fire. Just cool. And then this one must be Poseidon. Poseidon took dominion over the seas and is master of its creatures. Yeah, we know we had dealings with Poseidon before in God of War 1. Even though he looked different in that game. He looked like some kind of old dude, and here he looks much younger. And Hades looked like a freaking retarded lizard in God of War 1. Really glad they changed the designs. But yeah, we can rotate the Zeus statue and get behind it. Secret passageway for the win. 
but what are we going to find at the end of it? I don't know. Been a while since I played this game. On my little brother's PSP. Yes, he had a PSP. Well, actually, he had a DS first, but he sold it to one of my friends. Because, I don't know, DS started boring him or something. Then he got a PSP, with which he never, ever did anything. And I don't even think it still works. Or at least, I think the battery's dead and we lost the charger somewhere. So, yeah, I guess I could have access to a PSP, but... I probably have to buy a new charger from somewhere. And this Minotaur is really beating my ass. Doesn't really help that the archers are annoying the crap out of me. Alright, kill him. You know, one thing that I think this game kind of lacks. You know how God of War 1 had the uh, Rage of the Gods where Kratos would turn blue and get an electric freaking mohawk and do super massive damage to anything? This game doesn't have that. Shame, because it could come in handy in quite a few situations, like this one. When facing off against a gigantic man bull with a sword twice Kratos' length. They would just cut his head off with it. Kratos, you're such a badass. Alright, what does this switch do? Okay, let's first scour the room for treasure. There's nothing there. A little health chest, I guess I can... Although I might need the magic better. Yeah. And what do we have up here? Save point. Surprise, sword guy. I don't like being ambushed. I will kick you in the nuts for that. Oh, breakable wall. Neat. So, what do we have out here? Um, oh, red orb chest. I will take that because I still need to upgrade the f -reed. Because I think the blades and the fireballs are maxed out already. Okay, can't go there. Can't do anything with these dead people in here. What, where are we, a morgue? Why would they need a morgue in the underworld? Weird. So, yeah, I'll figure out what I need to do here off-screen, and then I will see you guys next week, for reals this time. Bye-bye.